Hi friends! Today we're going to make a duct tape pouch. So we are going to be using only some simple supplies, some quart size freezer slider bags. Um, the most, most important part is the sliding feature and some duct tape. Um, I've got a few choices over here, but we're only gonna be using one for today. So to start, we're gonna have our bag out and we're actually gonna cut the bottom portion of our bag because we don't need it. So you're going to take your bag and with a grown-up's help if needed, you're gonna cut off the bottom. Okay, go ahead and discard this. All right, so next up, we are going to take our duct tape. I'm gonna go ahead and use this awesome pattern duct tape, um, but you can use plain, you could do a combination of colors, um, but I'm gonna use this pattern version. So to start, we're gonna be cutting strips that are a little bit long for this side of the pouch. Um, and so a little bit longer than the pouch. So luckily duct tape is pretty easy to rip, but if you need to, you can use scissors, but just be careful because the scissors do sometimes get stuck on the tape. So I'm actually gonna move the scissors out of the way. All right, so pull the tape out. Measure it to be a little bit longer than the pouch. Quick rip. And what you're gonna do is you're actually going to measure, or you're gonna match this up to the top of the pouch. Not the very top, but like near the top. You don't wanna cover up the zipper because obviously then it won't work, but you wanna get pretty close to it so that it doesn't, you don't see any clear bag through. Then push down. Try not to push down on the sides because that'll otherwise stick to the table. And then you're going to flip it over and these are going to get pushed down to the side and you want to make sure it's flush or close to the edge or as close to the edge as possible. Push it down so you don't get any bubbles. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Super close, push it down, all set. All right, now we're going to do the second piece and we're going to overlap it because it creates a sturdier pouch. Going to do our last piece of tape on this side and it's going to hang off a little bit and that's totally fine. Again, a little bit longer. That's too long. A little bit longer. Quick grip. If you don't quick grip, du quick grip duct tape, um, it has a tendency to stretch a little bit and then that isn't helpful. Um, so this, I'm going to try and line up my lines and line it up. Push, push, push. Be careful not to push at the very bottom because that's the part that's overhanging. And as you can see, it gets stuck. So now you're going to, if you notice, I'm gonna pull it a little closer. There is an edge of the bag and then there's the tape. You wanna try and pull the tape over as close to that edge of the bag as possible without folding it. So you can use your nail to kind of feel that area if you need to. Now we're done with one side, we're gonna flip it over. On this side, um, you don't need the tape to be as long, um, but it can go over the edges if need be. So. We're gonna do that one more time and we're going to make sure that um, this time you're actually gonna hang this off a little bit more. So quick rip. And as you notice, I'm hanging it, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit. You still wanna make sure that you're covering up the clear. So that's like the most important part. Um, and then pull this up, oop, stuck a little bit to the table, that's okay because we're gonna stick it to itself anyways. Um, go ahead and pull this on top, just like this. And it's okay that it sticks to itself, just like with the other side. 
But this time, because we're trying to make it so that it um, is flush and we don't want any other flaps going, we're actually gonna cut these pieces off. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to carefully cut down this size. And if you notice, duct tape is very sticky, especially to scissors, so just be careful when you're cutting that. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Flush with the side. Again, it gets a little sticky, that's okay. Just do the best that you can. If you need a parent's help, that's totally fine too. Go ahead and pull that off. Set your scissors aside. We will need them in just a little bit. So here we go, make sure those all stick. One more step, and that is we need to do the edges. We need to do these edges. And that's okay, again, that it's a little bit longer, but this time we're gonna do the duct tape down this way. So you don't need as much duct tape. So if you notice, I am putting about half the duct tape on the bag. And then you're gonna bring it down, push down the bag, push, 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 push. Flip it over, and if you notice, we have half of it left. We're gonna fold that over. And that is making a really nice finished edge to our pouch. And just like with the bottom part, we're actually gonna cut this flush. Okay. Again, get rid of those pieces. And finally, we're gonna do one more on this side as well. Again, quick rips. And you're gonna go ahead and put, match it up to the edge as much as you can. Great, and now you have your pouch, your finished pouch. It opens up and you can put things like your little mini duct tape and pencils and pens and anything that you can think of can go into these pouches. So enjoy and I will see you next week.